It's tax season. Have you been considering using your tax refund for a down payment on a home? Well, we're gonna talk about why that might be a good idea next. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Keller Williams and Carrie Sells the City. I'm a real estate broker licensed in Washington State specializing in the Puget Sound region. Check back every Wednesday as I try and provide great content for information about real estate as well as different things to do in the Pacific Northwest. If you find my videos interesting and helpful, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're one of those lucky individuals that actually gets a refund at the end of the year from your taxes, it might be a good opportunity to use that money towards a down payment and closing costs for a home. One reason why is you've got immediate funds for a down payment. And two things that your lender is always going to look for when it comes to money for a down payment and your closing costs are seasoned and sourced funds. Sourced funds are funds where you must show where the funds came from a banker savings account, a retirement account. You have to show that the money didn't just magically appear into your account. Now seasoned funds are funds that have been in your bank account for 60 days or longer. That's one reason why your lender asks you for two bank statements to prove that the money's been seasoned in your account and sitting there ready for purchase. So there are three types of finances that don't need to be seasoned. One of those is your tax refund. A copy of the treasury check deposited into your bank account as well as the bank statement is sufficient enough to be a source of funds. Another category of funds that don't need to be seasoned would be an insurance award. So if you've recently received a settlement from an insurance company for whatever it may be, those funds can also be considered usable for a down payment without having to sit in your bank account. The third type of funds that don't need to be seasoned would be proceeds from sale of personal property. So as long as you have a bill of sale and a receipt, as well as the deposit into the bank account, that would also be covered as funds that don't need to be seasoned. If you're able to take that tax return and put that money towards a down payment on a home, it's a good investment where you're going to have a home that's appreciating and have a high cash on cash return. So if you were debating if putting your money from your tax return is a good idea for a down payment, the answer is yes. If you have questions about anything, please go ahead and reach out to me directly. I'm happy to walk through any questions you may have. Please be sure to check back every Wednesday and stick around for another video.